Alright, hey guys, how you doing? Tech Reviews 135 here, and I'm going to be doing a review on the AMD FX 6200 6 core processor. And um, I just bought this. I uh, went to Fry's Electronics and got this for um, 170 171 actually, after tax and everything. Um, and I really like this processor, um, it packs a lot of power into it. And the specs of it, it's a 6 core processor, obviously. It it has a uh, it runs at 3.8 gigahertz. Um, the st a stable overclock to put on it is uh, 4.25 gigahertz, and it runs great at 4.2. Um, it's got a 14 megabyte um, cache, and it's the socket AM3 plus. Um, it's 125 watt, and basically, let me show you what you get in the box. In the box, you get your um, stock heatsink, um, the little AMD fan. I um, I never use these, usually because they they don't work right. Um, they never keep it that cool. I always buy a different one. And you get your processor in it, and it always comes with a little sticker. But I don't, um, I actually have a sticker on here, on this computer, and it's in this computer. I, I use um, the Coomaster Hyper 212 Plus heatsink on it. Um, and it seems to keep it cool with um, two fans. So um, the sock, if you want to use this, it does have direct contact uh, heat pipes, uh, which does help with the heat dispersion. Um, the fan isn't that good. It is a four pin, um, but the RPMs of it aren't good, and it always makes a weird sound like that. Um, it makes the whole case vibrate because it, they're never good fans. Um, but if you don't have a heat sink to put on it, then yeah, you can go ahead and put this on it. I mean, it's not like it's going to kill anything as long as you don't burn it up. But yeah, it is a great processor. I, I recommend it more than the Venom series. Um, I can get a better overclock on my FX than I could on my Venom. So, yes, uh, this does do better with uh, gaming, high performance gaming. Um, it also works great if you put it with a... Um, and it does say it on the side here. Um, it works great with an uh, Radon um, HD 6000 series graphics card. Um, it And it does do good with the 9 series chipset on your motherboard if that's what you got. If you don't, if you don't have that graphics card, it's fine. I use an NVIDIA. So, but yeah, highly recommend this. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tech reviews later on. And uh, thanks a lot.